Oh, good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to bring you a requested video tonight. I haven't done a live video in a couple of nights. I do have quite a few recorded videos for you. So I hope you'll stay tuned for those during the week. Let me know how the stream today and um, how my voice is and everything. I think everything's plugged in correctly tonight. And um, yeah, I thought I would bring the requested video. I have done collection videos before. I've done my Sterling Silver collection. I've done my, my gold collection, my cameos. I think I've done my cameos. Brooches. I've done brooches where they where I had some cameos but I thought I would do this one because one of my subscribers requested it and one of my other subscribers said that I had one and I do but I'm constantly buying rings as you know that and I just left the MSP auction I think they're wrapping up and so hey Guillermo how are you so I thought I would bring you one because I'm buying quite a bit from different auctions anyway it's probably best that I didn't I'd but first of all, while we wait for some other people to come in, guys, I did want to tell you about um, these lockets. Remember I had the locket collection? Well, I forgot to show you the sterling locket that I just bought at the Goodwill, I think about a month ago. And this is another piece that I wanted to tell you definitely deserves to be cleaned because it had a black stripe around the front of it. And we were talking earlier about cleaning sterling jewelry and how it's quite a myth that people perpetuate when they say do not clean your sterling. Uh, and this is definitely one to, to make my case because it had a black stripe right down the middle. I kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. It wouldn't come off. You can still see a little bit of a remnant there maybe. But it came out really nice and it is signed and all of that and it's well somebody told me to buy this guitar pick to get it open so i'm not going to open it i believe it's signed on the inside and i may have already showed it to you but i forgot to show it to you in my locket collection so guys thank you again for coming in uh be sure and hit that thumbs up when you do walk in the door we do a lot of talk here about jewelry and we do thrift hauls i hope you managed to see my thrift haul that i did the other day because i not only bring home jewelry i bring home everything and today i took home or rather, I took away from home a truck donations to my local Goodwill. That's where I give my donations to. And I gave purses that hadn't been listed or that had been listed for a long time. Hey, Jude. I'm glad you're here. I gave, um, oh my gosh, what else did I give away? I gave a lot of um, toys and plush that also had been sitting around listed and unlisted and listed and things like that. So I cleared up a lot of room. I was inspired by all the organizational videos that I saw this week, starting with Jude. So I'm a total copycat. Jude, I got all my, all my little trinket boxes out and I put them where I could see them and enjoy them and open them. And there was pictures in there I hadn't seen that I, you know, didn't even realize I, I had them anymore <laughs> because I'm a total box fiend. I just cannot resist a box. So I did that, and then I donated a lot. So um, that's what I wanted to say. I, that's not the only thing I hoard is jewelry. I hoard a lot of other things. Here's another thing that popped out of one of the boxes, or rather one of the bags, that was sterling, and um, we hadn't taken a good look at it. When I looked at it, I thought it was a button. I thought a button, or how is the stream, guys? Or a broken piece of jewelry, like a broken earring. I just hadn't even seen the bail. Look at the bail at the very top. Hey, Vanessa. Right? I just got so inspired. Go watch Jude's videos, guys, from her. Take a look at her desk. She's just got everything in such cute little vignettes and nooks. And oh, my gosh. I just love watching videos like that that really inspire you to do something with your hoard and junk. <laughs> So that's one there. And then here's another locket that popped out. A couple more lockets popped out, guys. I can't even believe it. I don't even know where this one popped out from. So what I'm trying to do today is show you my rings, right? But I'm going to organize them because they've been getting rattled around. So I normally have turquoise in one, sterling in another, uh, gold in another, and they've all kind of married and been fraternizing lately. So I'm going to try to reorganize that. Here's another little sterling piece that showed up in the reorganization mode I was in. And then this one, too. And I think this one we pulled out of a jewelry jar, too. And I didn't know it was a locket. I think someone even said it looked like a chiclet because I couldn't open it. It was really quite flush. And this one even came with the chain. 
There it is there. I had not even noticed. Maybe I wasn't wearing my good glasses because I got some all kinds of glasses. I got that. And then, um, oh, I wanted to show you this gorgeous bracelet that I just got in the mail. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to sacrifice it, guys. I'm going to see if Sandy can maybe repair it by taking one or two links off because it's an eight. But I've told you before how horrible I feel about sizing. Let me put this down a little bit. Sizing down jewelry. I really feel like sometimes it just compromises the jewelry too much, you know, because this is very weighty. It's Mexican sterling silver with lapis, but it's an eight. And I did not read the listing. I'm so guilty of what I get mad about my buyers doing. I did not read the listing correctly. It stated very blatantly, clearly size eight, and it totally falls off my wrist. It's really big, but I got a good deal on it and I love it. It's, it's actually supposed to be X's and O's. So it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and thick and hi how are you happy flipping mom i'm so glad you're here guys if you haven't checked her out she's hilarious we she likes to be called mama so we'll call her mama <laughs> but she's insane and i love her and she's got some really good videos that'll keep you chuckling so go check her out she did a little haul the video earlier and i think she's going to do one in a little bit all right so that's it guys size eight i don't know what i'm going to do with it i'm going to have to put it up on ebay or something but I was dying to get this thing. Couldn't wait for it. And um, hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I'm glad you're here. And then another thing I wanted to pop them in, in the reorganizational situation. Let me see if I can find it. I'm going to lose it again. Uh, let me look, let you look at that mustard seed while I'm gone, while I'm looking, because people don't like to look at blank things. Okay, here it is. I This is crazy, guys. I used to have a pegboard. And I would use all kinds of earrings and things for, for thumbtacks. And I used this thing for probably 10 years as a thumb, as a thumbtack. I hadn't even noticed it was sterling. I hadn't noticed what it is. I guess it's some, um, I don't know if it's Hebrew or what, or some kind of symbol there. I can't even hardly see it. But when I took it out, when I was reorganizing my room, I noticed it was James Avery. So it's probably a rare tie tack or but what do they call these pin backs? I don't even know. But there it is with the candelabra. But that's what happens when you reorganize. You find things you didn't know you had. And here I am looking at a James Avery. I've had it in my possession. Greek sorority, thank you, Jude. Had it in my possession for at least 10 years. Probably picked it out of the Goodwill or in a thrift store. Don't even remember. And I just loved it because I love lambs. I told you guys my story about my obsession with lambs because I knit. So I used to have a whole collection of lambs. That was one. And then another locket popped out. I don't remember where this one came from. It's kind of a flimsy material, but I think it's really pretty anyway. And I just did my nail again, guys. I'm not going to open it. But it's kind of thick, too. All right, now on to the rings. So we can go watch Mama in a minute. Okay. This is one of the separations is that I got this from Kathleen. No, not Kathleen. From Sally at this um, Vintage Discoveries. And she auctioned off this beautiful box on MSP full of rings. Some of the rings are not hers. I have added more in here. But this is what I'm trying to do is organize like my costume, which is this, this is one of hers that was in the box. My costume with my, like this is sterling that I got from Cindy. That Cindy loves jewelry, but I love it. I love the curvature of it. And it is um, gold wash over sterling. You bought an Avon what now? Lock it today. You did. How fun. Uh, so I got this from Cindy, and then I'm trying to organize the good jewelry with the sterling. Well, it's all, to me, sterling is fine jewelry. Okay, so the sterling in one cabinet, gold in another cabinet, and then I want to start doing the costume pieces in jewelry boxes. And I wish I had more of these, these little small ones, but I don't. Let me say hello to a couple of people in the chat real quick. Uh, again, there's Sandra, Whitley's Wares, Vanessa's here, Elizabeth at Makeup Zombie, Hip Flip and Mama's here. Guillermo Velvet Sunflower, and I'm going to go back to the top, and if I skipped anybody, please forgive me so we don't take too much time. Danio's Hair, Danio's a Hair Geek. I love that name. I know. I've seen it a few times. Dora Cruz is here. Peterson, Peachy Peachy, Anna, and so Sanja, and guys, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate you joining 
the, um, the channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise you, you will enjoy the content. And um, I think you'll enjoy the thrift hauls and especially the jewelry hauls. All right, so this is the ones from Sally. She has great jewelry too, guys, and I think she's coming up on. But like I said, some of these are not all from Sally. Like I just put the one that I got from Vanessa in there because I was wearing it a little while ago, and I was switching around to see which one complemented this big chunky one. <laughs> And this big chunky one was in the lot from Sally at um, Vintage Discovery. So this is just kind of them here. This is a beautiful cameo. It's a genuine cameo, but it's in a, I don't know, some kind of a base metal setting. So pretty. Really huge. Love that. That's these here. And then I'm not sure what they call these. If you guys know, be sure and leave it in the comments here. But come back and tell us in the other comment section too so others can learn because I forget and my daughter was just asking me today about it because she found some she was looking at the brooches that I have with the little romantic couple and she was asking what do they call these I see them all the time or whatnot and I couldn't remember and then I had gotten some friend mail a couple of years ago from another wonderful subscriber and she sent me some beautiful sterling set rings and um, this one is just missing a tiny little blue stone, but you can't even see. I love it. It's also really big on me, so I don't wear it that that often. But I do love it very, very much. And, of course, you saw these from Vanessa's friend mail that she sent me some of these in here as well. But let's go to the other one so I can start sorting them because I put them all in that beautiful crystal box that I got the other day that you guys may have seen in the in the thrift haul and look how pretty it shined up guys it shined up so pretty i washed it with a little cotton ball and a little toothbrush i counted over a hundred in here guys i'm not gonna talk incessantly about all of them but there is over a hundred in here and i'm gonna try to put them also got this dish guys to sort out but i threw away i don't know if you guys remember this was in a in like a pewter dish but i didn't like the dish it like sat in there and somebody said it was like for nuts or whatever and i i i'm getting to the point like i said i copied you where i want to see things i want to know what's in them i either want them to be in glass and so i threw away didn't throw it away i gave it to the goodwill the dish a little silver topper and it was like you know it was encased in there and i'm just keeping them the glass. So I'm going to start sorting. Okay. So here is a sterling silver. And we're still debating on what kind of stone it is. I've heard everything from green citrine. I mean, uh, aventurine to, um, oh my gosh, I don't know how many different names. I don't, you know me, I'm not a, a big expert on stones, but I fell in love with it. I think I paid $12 for it. Um, again, I could be wrong because I don't remember. Look how tall that fell. <laughs> It reminds me of a broccoli stalk. It's so cute. And I know I've heard a few people already with it. I think I ran into one of my students and he's like, ouch, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Oh, and of course I'm wearing the, I forgot to tell you about these. I'm wearing the Druzy from one of Sandy's auctions. It's a little pink Druzy. She didn't make that one. She made the opal with the little diamond. She gift, gifted me this beautiful Sunyet that I had in, in, engraved with my with my initial. And then, of course, that one's one from Cindy, and this one came from that jewelry jar I just showed you, and this was in a bag. It's bronze, and it was actually, I mean, uh, copper. It was actually colored gold, but I cleaned it really well with semichrome, so that will take off that coating, guys, if you, if you want to go down to the brass, which I also did with this, I mean, with the copper. This one was also coated in silver. It is real turquoise, and... Um, I prefer the copper over fake silver. So I scrubbed it to death and finally got some copper coming out of that one. Okay, so that's going to go in my turquoise area there. And then this is one that I picked up at a pawn shop. I showed you guys this before. It's got a beautiful shank. Lion heads on the side. I believe this is 18 karat gold. And uh, you can see the, the coral peeking through there. A little variation in color on the coral. So I'm going to put that one on this side with the gold ones, and then we'll get organized. All right. Turquoise, rather, from the turquoise shops that I used to frequent when I was a teenager. I worked for jewelry. That was it. Luckily, my parents didn't charge me money to live at their house because I was 17, 18 years old. I was still getting my life together and working at the mall just for jewelry and Chick-fil-A. 
So I got this coral ring there, and these are unsigned, so these are vintage pieces, and it was a Native American store at our mall, and they knew me by, by my name already. Got that one. I also got this one at the same place, Onyx Turquoise. I love that green turquoise, but you know what? I think it's changed over time because this thing's over 30 years old easily, maybe 40 years old, actually. Yeah, at least. I love this one, and it's... um. This is what I always say about, you know, things that are handcrafted. If you're looking for perfection, go get the China stuff because you're not going to get it in Native American pieces. So I never look for hallmarks or, you know, if you can see the, the, the beauty in something like this, do you really need a stamp for validity? I don't. All right. Did you really, Jack? How fabulous. And then here is a... Um, Labradorite. I'm trying to get that extra syllable in there. <laughs> I keep saying Labradorite. Labradorite. And I found this one. I can't remember if it was Etsy, eBay, or Macari. <laughs> but it was one of those. And I think it was about $35. I really like it. It's very pretty. So it's not huge, but it's pretty. I really, really like it. And that was just purchased this last year. And then Vanessa got me this beauty. She sent it in a, in a friend mail. I love it. It's a little pearl with, I don't know if that's a citrine, and I don't even know if that's a genuine pearl or not, but it is in sterling. It is so cute, isn't it? Look at the way it just hugs the, the finger. I love that. So I'm going to put that in the, in the sterling area. Let me take a quick drink of water, guys, and say hello to a couple. Oh, it's real. Thank you, Vanessa, for letting me know. I didn't care either way. It's gorgeous. Darn it, I was trying to buy a pearl ring tonight. They beat me out of them. Put that thing on. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Vanessa, you're just the sweetest person ever. Okay, where was I? This is genuine ivory. I have found ivory many times at the thrift stores. I don't remember where exactly I got this one. This was not in a jewelry bag or jewelry jar. This was before I started buying jars and bags. But I don't remember where. And it's extremely my size so after I wear it a while it kind of swells up. I don't know what ivory does does it shrink or increase it, it does something it's like a living breathing thing and uh, I had another one that I found once that was the lion head beautiful huge lion head but the crack was all the way down so when I would wear it it would open and then I would put it away and it would close back it was so funny but I did sell that one, and I sold that either on eBay or Etsy. It was long before, it was a good 10 years ago, long before they got really, really strict about, you know, ivory and, and what you would you could sell online. Nowadays, you got to be really careful. Can't sell that stuff. Okay, here's an opal I found at the Goodwill, and you saw me when I brought this one home. I think I paid about 7 or $8 for it. I don't know if they, it seems to, sometimes it shines more than other times. I don't know how. But it does, and I don't know what it says inside either. I know it's sterling. I've tested it for sterling. But I think it's actually signed either from the origin. Maybe you guys can read it better with your zoom in here. See, it does, I don't know. It's like it's almost in another language. And then I turn it this way, and I still can't read it. But uh, it's a beautiful opal, kind of a bluish hue. So I don't really know what category that would fall under. Then I found this tiger eye, and I found this at a cafe. I think it's called the Whistle Stop Cafe, if any of you guys are from the Houston area. It's called the Whistle Stop Cafe because it's right by a train. And we went in there when I was looking for my first teaching job. I went to interview. I went to interview. I wanted to interview everywhere I could. I just wanted my first teaching job. So it was a few miles from my house, but I went there. My husband took me, and we went and had chicken fried steak at a little cafe, and who, lo and behold, she had a... She had like a little thrift store in there, really like an antique store. She had really cute collectibles, and she had a jewelry counter, and I found this one, and I didn't pay but about $20 for it, I think. And I could never see the sterling, and the other day I finally saw it. I don't know how I missed it, but forever I was thinking, I don't even think it's stamped, but it really was. All right, and then here's another buy. Uh, actually, my mother gave me this one one Christmas when I was about 16. Love, love, love. Every time she sees me wear it, she says, that ring still looks so pretty on you. 
So this is like my absolute pride and joy. And she had given me the, not the matching bracelet, but she had bought me a bracelet as well. And this is in the heyday of the, you know, what was her name? Rita Coolidge and, and Cher, and they all donned their gorgeous turquoise, right? So it was everywhere. And she bought me that. She bought me the bracelet. But I, I've relayed to you guys that one of them was stolen. The cuff was stolen. And the topaz ring that my father gave me was stolen. Many things. I, I Sometimes I forget and then I'll remember. Oh, yeah, that's when those evil people broke into my apartment and stole my jewelry. You know. And, uh, yeah. So I had the cuff that was almost the same thing. A little bit different. More greenish, I think. Here is another Labradorite, but this one has a really nice green hue to it. And I love the shank, guys. It is so thick and so beautiful. And this is a tip is if you guys don't already know it, because I know you don't need tips. But when we source, you know you source. You, you look for different things when you're looking for a buy, right? I always look for bad pictures. <laughs> I look for the description and, the and you know, as long as she says it's sterling and if she's got a horrible picture, chances are I'm going to buy it because my expectations are usually exceeded. And that's what happened with this gorgeous ring. I could barely see it. It was a blurry picture. It was about 10 miles away, but she said it was Labradite and she said it's sterling. So I bought it and I really, really like it. It's another perfect ring finger size. So again, this was probably $25 on eBay this year. Love it very much. Okay, here was another. I don't even remember what I paid for it. $30, $40 on eBay. This is the absolutely fabulous Citrine. The with dragons holding on to that stone for dear life. I adore this ring. It is so pretty. The only thing I would like more if it would fit me on my ring finger. I think it would look so pretty on my ring finger. It's a little big, so I wear it on my index finger or my middle finger. But it is so beautiful. Such beautiful detail on that shank, that setting. All around, it's just amazing. And the color and the cut of it, also one of my favorites from this year. How are you, little Latina shop? How are you doing? Where do you sell, Lina Latina shop? Do you sell here on YouTube or do you have a Etsy or something? Let me take a little break, guys. I'll let you look at that one while, while I'm drinking a little bit. Anita's in here. And uh, Alicia Perez. E. Mendoza. Somebody said your real name the other day, but I didn't catch it. I forgot. Mendoza. Either way, I'll call you Mendoza. <laughs> and Velvet Sunflower said hello to her. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And 19 people got the thumbs up. Fabulous. Thank you. Anna Benjamin is there. Jack Fellows says, Stones with Mother of Pearl Coral Onyx. Wasn't sure the turquoise was real because of being green. Oh, green. The turquoise is definitely real when it's green, guys. There is a real uh, following or demand for green turquoise, but turquoise also turns. Over time and use, the blue turquoise tend to go to a, a green hue, which is really fine. I know it's a little bit, some people say that the bluer is more expensive, which is possibly true because people want that. But remember what Sandy was telling us the other day, also about Matrix. Some people detest Matrix, usually in other countries, and, and they pay high dollar for the big, for the blue Robin's Eggnet Sleeping Beauty Blue, yet here in the U.S. we love the Matrix, and we don't, you know, we almost look at the other as if it's fake, so we don't, we don't gravitate towards that. <laughs> All right, we're going. This is another copper one that was covered in silver, but I really love copper, and I polished it up, and I think I got most of that silver off of it, and um, there it is. Nice copper cross ring. I like it because it's closed up as well. Copper is a good metal. I like it. So put that with that one as well. And then here's another pretty one from Vanessa. Vanessa, what kind of stone is this? Is it milk glass? I couldn't figure it out. But look at that pretty setting. I love it. 
fits in the middle finger. So pretty. No clue. I think it's milk glass. It kind of just feels like it. I don't know. It's a little bit more opaque, though, because milk glass has like a little sheen, right? When you hold it up to the light, it's supposed to give off like a little iridescence. Here's just a little plastic number. I don't know why it's in here. You know why it's in here? Because I like to wear it with this one, one on each hand. And that's where I put them together. So I'll have to figure out a place for those two. And then here's one I got from Patty Feb, guys. She did this in the auction that she had with Roland Picker. She had some nice things, and I have not had a chance to watch her video. She did another haul video today. So much catching up to do. And then, Elizabeth, I just got a notice from her that she put up her preview video. So I will see that. Look at that beautiful setting, guys. It's got heart cutouts. And it is such a beautiful London blue color. Everyone in the in the crowd was saying, in the chat was saying it was a blue topaz, but she didn't really know. And it doesn't really matter. It's just gorgeous. So pretty. And it is sterling silver. Again, guys, this is over 100 rings. I think it was 104 when I last counted. And I have more in other little jewelry boxes. I just have to find them. Here's another one that my mother got me. This is from Ross. And uh, again, she just knows it's got to be jewelry. <laughs> She got me this about, I don't know, about five years ago. And uh, it's faux turquoise, but it's so beautiful. And they actually had this in Onyx as well. I think she got it at Ross or TJ Maxx or somewhere. And it is sterling silver. I love it. I think it's so pretty. My daughter loves this one too. She says, I love that ring with the lady. Yeah, it's so pretty. So she got me that for one birthday. Love it because mom got it for me. Here's one that I got while we were on vacation. I think we were about 16. Um, where were we? We were in Colorado. Yeah, no, I was about 18 because my sister just made the mistake of her life and got married way too young. And so we went to visit her. And of course, we always went to the tourist shops and places and we bought this. My mother bought me that. And then she bought my sister one too. And I think it's in here as well because somehow or another I managed to keep all the jewelry <laughs> here's one from the haul I just did not too long ago guys I think I showed it to you when I told you I was hunting down jewelry this month or last month I was just on a on a spending hunt I guess of finding lots and so I, this came in a lot love it coral turquoise mother pearl onyx perfect size too for the ring finger I really like it it looks really nice with that big one with the black. Where is it? This one. I like it together. I, it, look, it fits me right here, and it looks really pretty together. I like that. All right, let's go. Then I got this from Elizabeth, and this is from Jan Michaels. This is a collectible. Guys, he makes some really, really pretty jewelry. I think she said this was tiger eye. I'm not sure, or petrified wood. I don't know, but it's got a very nice background on the back, and then this is tiger eye, and it is brass, I believe, either brass or bronze, and it is hallmark there, and it's just a really pretty statement ring. Really nice. Okay. Then it's still on... I'm going to put this over here with silver. Yeah, we're still pulling out a lot of silver. This is a James Avery that I stole from my husband's closet. Love the Eagles. I actually I actually got this from eBay about 10 years ago, also with a lot. It came with a, a huge Eagle medallion pendant and another really pretty turquoise ring. I didn't pay very much for it, but I really fell in love with this James Avery, and it fits me somewhere. <laughs> it's kind of big. I just really like it, and he loves eagles. Anytime I see a, a ring with any kind of an eagle motif, I usually buy it for him. Here's a really pretty one I got at a flea market here in Houston. I used to frequent the flea markets long before there was eBay. This is where I got a lot of my jewelry from. This is jade, turquoise, and lapis, and it is in uh, white gold. This is not sterling. It is in white gold, and it is so pretty. I think it's even 18 karat. I think it says 750 on it. I don't have my loop handy, but no, it's it's not sterling. It is so pretty. And sad story, but I had bought an enamel piece from him. 
and he sized it that day and he ruined it. <laughs> he had to pay me back for it. It was a beautiful, um, I guess, enamel, right? Or what's it called when there's a painting? It was a, it was a picture of Christ. It was beautiful, uh, and it was also an 18 karat yellow gold. And when he sized it down, he failed to remove the stone. And when he handed it to me, I put it on, and I and I touched it, and the face came right off. We both almost died. We both almost died. It was so sad, you know, because he 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 had sold it to me for like three or four hundred dollars. It's quite a bit of money. And then I never ever saw another ring like that ever sad really really sad all right so i'm gonna put this with the gold ones up here here's another one that i found on either ebay or macari somewhere it's mexican sterling silver Tasco piece love the design on that a lot really pretty put that with the silver and then here's something from Aunt, um, sandy's auction it is the oyster shot what's it called I forgot. Something with the word oyster in it. But it's kind of been taking the place of the um, coral. Since coral has been depleted so much. Well, they've always used it, really. Native Americans have always used this. But, um, yeah, I like it. I, I think it's a really pretty. It's sterling, and it's also adjustable, which I think is kind of cool. Though I don't like when they open. I, I will not buy a ring that I have to actually open if it's adjustable. Because my hair gets stuck in it. Yes. Spiny oyster, that's it. This is a beautiful ring that my friend Vanessa bought at an auction for me. Really love it. It's so chunky and beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And I love the way it comes. My wedding band does this too. It comes to the side like this where it looks like an eternity band. I just love it. Very pretty. All right. Oh, I got an offer. Okay, wonderful. I love getting notices when I'm on in the middle video, guys. I'm posh for some clothing. I'm trying to clear out all the clothing. Here's a really pretty coral ring. Also came in that lot that I bought this, well, last month. And I don't remember which lot because I bought quite a few of them. But this is one of the coral pieces. I like these to stack. Just put a couple of little ones like that. All right, let's go to some gold. Oh, this is just a costume piece too, but I have it in the, <laughs> I have it in my fine jewelry box because I really love it. This is from my patriotic collection, and I've showed you these before. So I'll put these up here with the acrylic ones that I had and the other ones. Okay, here's a pretty one my husband came home with. I don't know where he got it. I think he got it at a pawn shop. He frequents pawn shops a lot to buy tools, or he did when he was in construction. And um, he would always peruse the, the jewelry area, especially the sterling, because we always got really good buys on the sterling. And he's not really kind of a haggler, so he wasn't really... I always told him, don't buy the jewelry because you don't know how to haggle. So, But he would definitely get the sterling. Well, this is uh, got some 18 karat gold accents. It's from that... Oh, what is that name? Brasso or Brasco? Or, they sell it over at, at uh, Dillard's. I forgot the name of it. But it's that brand made in Thailand, I believe. I can't remember. Oh, here it is. No, it's BJC, which has a longer name. So it's Hallmark BJC, 18 karat gold sterling silver. It's really big. It's it's a really nice chunky piece. Garnet. I love that one too. So I'll put that in the sterling. Here's an interesting one from a thrift store, and it is, I believe, either, it's not an aquamarine, because I have an aquamarine. This is a blue topaz. Really pretty, too. Very big, and I think it's actually cracked right here, where, this, where the silver meets. So I have to get someone to solder it, or I have to sell it as an adjustable ring. <laughs> but, yeah, this is 925. I've never really studied the, the other hallmarks, but I know it's sterling. Very pretty. I love the the uh, kind of a baguette cut there. Really nice. Thanks so much, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. There's about 80 of you watching. If you all go over there right now at the same time, we can make it happen. Go hit that thumbs up for me, please. And that will really help in the search to grow this channel so people can get exposed to the videos. All right, this was a jade piece that came out of a jewelry jar. 
See how the jade has the, the little green specks? Not all of them do, but some of them, I mean, the, the black specks. But that's what I've been looking for. And of the fact that it's cold as ice when you pull it out of a jewelry bag. It's just super cold. Funny thing about this jade, though, I can't wear it. It's very big on the ring finger, and then it's tight in the middle finger because of the wide band. It, by the end of the day, I can't take it off. It feels like it's my hands are swelling. So, I don't know. I told my daughter to try it on, see if it would fit her better. Here is one that came out of the counter at the Goodwill, I believe, this year. Very nice. Really like this. 925 as well. I can't remember what other mark is in there. I don't remember if it's Thailand or Mexico. Let me see if I see anything. Can't find it right now. It's really pretty, though. It kind of reminds me of a Mexican design. I don't know. Or it really kind of looks like a Lagos or something. It's pretty. I love plain silver rings, too. Here's a beautiful moonstone that I got from Jude at Jude Direct. And she's there in the chat, guys. Be sure and scroll over by her name and subscribe to her. And she sells at Granny Josie's Facebook. So she puts up some beautiful things. I really like this one. I was wearing this one to Neiman's when I went on that Tiffany hunt. <laughs> on that Tiffany excursion. And I went into Neiman's to kill some time. And um, the guy that waited on me that was selling the Creed cologne, he was, I think I told the story already, but I'll tell it again. He was dressed to the nines with so many beautiful rings. And I'm talking rings like this size. Beautiful. And he said, I love that ring. I said, thank you. So it gives off beautiful light. Love it. Moonstone. Okay. And then here is a poison ring that I got from a wonderful subscriber who wanted to remain anonymous and she sent the a whole box of beautiful jewelry from australia or from her you know from her but it was they were from all over including egypt she sent me a beautiful necklace that was from egypt and this is a poison ring that she sent isn't it pretty and this is also adjustable but i love the way it's overlapped so it doesn't get caught in my hair but yeah it's a little poison ring it's got beautiful etching all around really love that that's a pretty piece Okay, and then love this mother of pearl, turquoise, and black onyx that Anita gifted when I bid on one of her auctions. I don't remember if it was the one where I got the beautiful necklace or if this is the one where we bought the knives and swords that my husband adores, and she sent me that beautiful locket. But then another time I bought another piece of uh, turquoise from her. It was a pendant, and I don't know if she sent it then, but look how pretty that is. That is the prettiest mother of pearl. Kind of uh, either Zuni or Hopi, I'm not sure. Okay, here's the other ring that my sister bought when we were in Colorado, but I managed to get custody of it. When I first started doing videos, I did a video and showed it, and she was in the chat. <laughs> she's like, hey, that's my ring. <laughs> and she's never in the chat anymore. She doesn't know how to get back on. <laughs> I don't know how she managed to chat that day but she did and I was like yeah you know you didn't even take care of your rings and she really I mean she loves rings too but not like from childhood <laughs> pretty much it's got I think brass in there it's really pretty it's like I said we got it in Colorado I think it was at um, at the top of Pikes Peak or somewhere where they had souvenirs here's a really pretty one I picked up at the Goodwill I don't know what the material is. I want to say coral, but who knows? It is some kind of plastic feeling thing. It's a cameo. Oops, where'd he go? It's a beautiful little cameo. And I kept thinking it was dirty there and tried to clean it, but I think it's just part of the stone. I'm not sure. Isn't that pretty though? Another perfect ring size, ring finger size. It does look like coral. And I'm just not sure what the rest of this is and how well it's put together but this was like i think a dollar at, at a thrift store i don't even remember not very expensive at all here's a really pretty one that i found at a thrift store too it's sterling silver this reminds me of tiffany's bean collection you know how elsa peretti puts out that bean collection that's why i fell in love with it and it's very substantial the band is super thick really really nice love that Here's one I just picked up. We I couldn't figure out the color, uh, what to call the stone. I can't even quite fig, pinpoint the color. It's kind of gray, kind of blue. I love the setting, though, and it was filthy when I got it. See, it looks like a little 
tiara almost. It's so cute. And I think it was only $12. It was really cheap. If I misquote, guys, don't don't hold me to it. I forget. But um, it wasn't over 20 I know that. And then I got a discount, so it was probably about 12 Again, it's kind of a very, I would say like a steel gray color. So if you guys can help me on the color variation, rather the stone by color, if you know, let me know. But it's super pretty. I also like the cut. Very nice. This is my engagement ring in 18 karat gold. I think it's a carat. I'm not sure. I think it's a carat. Maybe a little less. It's beautiful, though. It's got a nice color. I really like it. Um, and the band is in here somewhere. Here's a lovely piece I got from one of Sandy's auctions. This is Hallmarked Peruvian. It's got several Hallmarks. I've showed it to you guys before, including Peru. And I don't know how they managed to get like gold dust across it, but that across it right there. But that's what it looks like, like gold moon dust or something. It's just so pretty. And it's just like a wave. Look at that, like a curl or a wave. So pretty. And I got this, I believe, in a lot of three rings from Sandy. She finds amazing pieces. You guys don't they're on Fridays at seven. Here's the Cartier triple thingy, 18 karat puzzle ring. I also got this a long time ago. And I like it because it's a perfect um, thumb ring. And then it's a perfect stacker ring too. But it's gotten big on me. When I got it, I was heavier. And it was not big. So now it's like a perfect thumb ring. Okay, I'll put that in the gold. Here's a beautiful James Avery ring that my daughter gave me when she Finished with her wedding and her planning and all of that. And she just wanted to give me a token of gracias <laughs> for helping her. And it is sterling silver. And then it has copper at the top. It's really pretty. I forget what they call this one. They're really pretty. They do really pretty floral work. Guys, are you still there or am I losing you the stream? My, all of a sudden my, my um, screen went darker. Let me know if you can still see me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not cool. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why it's going blurry. Oh, here's my daughter's ring from a boyfriend. It's got both their names on it. Picture's not real clear. When did this come? When did it start going not clear? Has it been all through the video? Oh, gosh, it's getting blurry really bad. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what's happening. Well, I'll tell you what. It was just a short time. Is it back now? some writing oh gosh thank you for reminding me about writing guys i was going to show you this how is it no not good or no still blurry any more writing gosh i don't have any paper around here it's not that bad just kind of fuzzy well that's not good it's horrible it's a picture of my daughter let me see if we have any writing in here. There's a paper. It still looks very dark. Still blurry, isn't it? Okay. Comes and goes. Well, let me take a break. It's clearish. Not clear at all. Mm, yeah. Let me sign off then and we will finish part two. We'll come back with part two. Okay. And um, give me about, I don't know, 30 minutes. See if I can straighten things out. You think it might be the background? Hmm. Let me remove the background. Let me see if we can straighten that out. And just do my white background. Here's my other cloth here. 
Camera is focusing on that, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Let me move the camera a little bit. Is it back now? Is it better now? Good. Okay. Well, before I forget, when I am about to hit a stone, guys, I think I'm about 55 or 60 away from 9K. But when I hit 10K, I'm going to give away this ring. So this is legit part of my collection. It was from this company, and I'm not going to talk a lot about the company because they already got their video on um, sponsored and everything. So they sent me this gift for free, and it's a beautiful sapphire ring. It is, um, it is actually white topaz and lab-created sapphires. And I think I picked it in my size, which is like a six or so. And I forgot what this one was called. Something about a tiara or a princess or something. But it's a beautiful ring. And I'm going to give this away when I hit 10K, hopefully in a few months. I'm hoping it's before the end of the year. <laughs> I was hoping it was before 2019, but we didn't hit that landmark. That um, hallmark or whatever it's called milestone but this is going to be the grand prize guys and this is amazing beautiful i think it's set in sterling beautiful beautiful ring and look at that gorgeous pear shape that's a white topaz the white stones are white topaz and the blue ones are lab created sapphires so i wanted to bring that out too because this is definitely still sitting in my collection and it's beautiful little box but i'm going to give it away to a lucky subscriber who can answer trivia questions and the trivia questions come from my videos guys so all you have to do is listen up <laughs> some of us are better listeners than others i know i would probably and keep failing at a lot of um trivia contests but um, yeah that's definitely a, a going to be a giveaway for 10k guys so share the video hit the thumbs up when you come in so we can get that show on the road all right let's finish up okay here is the aquamarine i was telling you about that I've had forever. Diamonds at the top. I forget if it's 14 or 18. But it is gold. Very pretty. Another perfect ring size. Really love that one. Here is a pretty blue to um, turquoise. Heart shape. I don't remember where I got. Oh, I think I got this at the Goodwill. This year as well. Really love this one. Beautiful blue turquoise, guys. Look at that color. It's amazing. Stream okay now? Here is another buy from Sandy. This is Sterling. And she said this was amethyst. And she said it was pink in it. And it really does. So there's a lot of pink all around. And there's more amethyst on the side. But it's set in Sterling with a gold wash. It's such a pretty stone. I almost want to... I would love that as a, as a pendant. I don't know, even though sometimes pendants, I don't know. They don't really, they don't always take my, get my interest. But when something is as pretty as that, oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, sterling silver. So that's going in sterling. Here's another sterling set that another wonderful subscriber sent me a couple of years ago. And these are cubic zirconias, really, really pretty. So I'll put that over there. And then the green emerald with, I think those are white topaz. I'm not sure. Really pretty though. I don't even think, I don't even know if that's a real emerald or not. I've never had it tested. Uh, Mother of Pearl, sterling silver. Again, from the lot this these last couple of months, my grandmother gave me this cameo. Set in 10 karat gold. Really pretty. She has, well, no, she does not. She gave the, was it a pendant or a brooch that matched it exactly? She gave that to my aunt. My aunt still has it. Maybe one day she'll let me have it. I don't know. A really pretty ring. I mean, ruby. I thought I had little diamonds. Ruby and gold ring that my sister gave me one Christmas. Love it. Or was it a birthday? I think it was a birthday. Lapis that I got from Jude. She sent that as a gift. Isn't that pretty? With a purchase. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Perfect size. 
All right, and then here's the beautiful Christmas gift from Elizabeth at Makeup Zombie, the Wedgwood, set in sterling. Look at that gorgeous setting, guys. And someone was telling me in the comments that this blue is very uncommon. She gave me the whole history about Wedgwood. I had no idea. I just know I love it, and it's an absolutely perfect fit as well. If Elizabeth's still in there, thank you so much, Elizabeth. I really love it. This was my um, niece's ring. It's just a little gold filled ring. I think it's just 10 karat gold filled or something. But um, when she passed, my, my sister and my mother gave us a lot of her jewelry. And this is one of the pieces that I got. And she used to wear it all the time. I love it. Here is a sulpata that I just recently scored in a jewelry jar. Well, you saw me unbag it, this one, or a jewelry bag. And it's like a very pale amethyst, almost pink. It's really pretty, though. It's a little on the tight side, though. Fits right now, but at the end of the day, it's a little tight. Very nice. And then here's an amethyst in sterling. I don't remember where I got it, guys. If you probably have to watch my other collection videos, I probably remember in that one. Right now, I can't remember if I got it at a thrift store or at a pawn shop or where. Very pretty color. I think it's Mexican. Really pretty color as well. And then here's a uh, lab-created opal that my sister gave me one birthday as well. Really love that one. Very nice setting. Thank, thanks, guys, for sticking in here with me. I'm almost done. Here is a really pretty diamond baguettes and just a cluster here, a little cocktail ring that my sister and I went into. I forget if it was Arpels and uh, one of the fancy uh, department store, I mean, the mall jewelry stores. Before it became Sweeney's, it was something else. Well, anyway, they were having a clearance sale where everything was like 80 or 90% off, and we made out like bandits. We bought about three rings each, and um, this is one of them. It's 18 karat gold. Really pretty. It's a nice little, I guess they used to call them cocktail rings. And then here's another really pretty one from Vanessa. Kind of a citrine color there. Really pretty. I think it fits me on this side better, Vanessa. It's a little small on this one. It still fits, but that's really pretty. And this is another ring that belonged to my niece that passed away at 19. I showed you her picture in the locket collection. And I bought this for her. I told the story before. I bought my daughter a pearl ring. She lost it. I told them, if you guys can find it today in the room, it's got to be in the room here somewhere. Whoever finds it, I'll buy you a pearl ring. And she found it. So I bought her this pearl ring. And it's 14 karat gold, and then, unfortunately, it was passed to me when she passed. Here's a little heart, 14 karat gold, really small pinky ring that my husband brought home for one of my daughters one day. Here's my um, Tiffany & Company ruby and diamond. Love this ring. Love this ring. It's got beautiful, beautiful diamonds. The colors are amazing, and the ruby's amazing, too. Really nice. Set in 18 karat. It is hallmarked in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom it in if you see if you can see it, but you may not be able to. Maybe there. That's a very pretty... Ruby and diamond ring. Here's another pretty one from Vanessa. This is, kind of, I think, like a watermelon stone. Is that what it's called? It's so pretty. It's got green and orange. And it is also sterling. Really pretty. Love that trillion cut. And then here are the bypasses that I love. And I buy always whenever I see them on eBay. I just love them. And this one is Mexican. Pasco. Here is my Mikamoto and Diamond Pearl Ring. A really big one. It looks so big on this tiny little ring. <laughs> it's not that big, but it's, it's nice. It's a really nice color, too. 
And I think it has three, yeah, three little diamonds on each side. Really pretty set in 18 karat as well. Love it. Love that ring. And here's, everybody asked me about this ring, guys, and I really love it. It's another, another eBay score from years ago. And um, the guy, I don't remember whether he said it was sterling, but there's a little mark there, and now I can't remember. I keep thinking it's gold, because I think he said it was gold. And it's got the funniest hallmark. Yeah, it says 14K. Gosh, I'm just now seeing where it says 14K. That's white gold. I don't know if you can see it. But what impressed me about it was the, the coins, with, which he said were real, genuine coins, which is quite possible. But I think they're Maximilian Mexican coins. And I adore the ring. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I love it. It's just such a statement piece, the little dangles. But it was an eBay score years ago. There's something I picked up at the Goodwill this year for about $14. This is an amazing, amazing amber. This thing glows in your face when you're driving. It is so pretty, and I love the setting. And then on the outside here... It's where is where it's hallmarked, Sterling. 925. On the outside of the band, which I thought was so unusual. And I was really surprised that this Goodwill had it for only $12 or so. Because lately they've been pr pricing some of their um, 1928 tiny little stud earrings for $21. And, you know, you just never know. You just keep looking because things fall through the cracks all the time. And then they had some really nice James Avery pieces too, but they were they were still about fifteen dollars, and you know I could probably sell them for thirty five or forty, but for all that trouble, I'm like, man, it's not even worth it for you know such a little profit. This is another interesting ring. I think it's a Tanzanite. I did find this at a thrift store, and I I don't remember if I've tested it for sterling or gold because it's got an interesting hallmark too that I cannot read. It's it's embedded in there. It's one of those kind that are that are deep, see? And I can't read it. But it's a very pretty ring. Very nice. I think I've told you guys before. It reminds me of a ring that my dad had. One of the first big purchases. He loved jewelry too. And it was a diamond and it was like that in that uh, what do they call that setting? Where it's just kind of suspended. And it was, his was an emerald cut diamond. Beautiful. And that's what it reminds me of. So every time I wear it, I think about him. <laughs> Here's a beautiful turquoise and copper ring I found on, on Poshmark. Very small, though. It's a four and a half. It still fits me, but it's beautiful. I really love the color on it, too. Lots of copper matrix on there. Here is one that Elizabeth sent me with one of her freebies, and I love it. Reminds me of when I was young, and everybody was wearing these little rings. Little cube crystals there. So cute. Love that. And this is another gift from Elizabeth in one of the purchase buys. <laughs> Buy, what is it? Gift with purchase. It's sterling with enamel. All kinds of colors in there. And I love that because it's a bypass. Here's a turquoise ring I found at a thrift store a while back. Beautiful blue color as well in the Sleeping Beauty color. Just gorgeous. Sandy actually fixed that one for me. I had had it sized down to a pinky, then I wanted it bigger again, and she fixed that for me. Here's a tiny little turquoise. This can actually be worn as a midi ring or a pinky ring. It's really small and cute. Thrift store find. And here's another one from Sweeney's. And this is, again, when the heyday of the turquoise and silver jewelry during the late 70s. And this one's hallmarked. It's made in the USA. It's hallmarked really fancily inside. Really love it. It's gotten a little bit uncomfortable for me. It kind of rubs in the wrong place, but I love the way it's kind of asymmetrical. It's a very, very pretty ring. Had it forever as well. Another bypass ring, hammered, that I wear all the time. And I also got that at a thrift store for about $8, maybe less. Here's one I got from Patty Feb. I fell in love with this. This is sterling copper. It used to be enameled. 
it has the um, head headdress and the face of the Native American there. And then it's got the roosters on the side. And one of my subscribers did give me a lot of information on the motif and the possible country of origin. So if you guys know anything else, let me know. Here's a pretty coral that I just showed you recently too. Came from a lot. Very nice pinky ring. I love that soft coral color. Here is an 18 karat gold ruby cabochon that I've had forever as well. Picked that up at a pawn shop. I don't remember for how much, but uh, I love it. It's super heavy. Kind of looks like a Yerman or Lago style as well. And I love that color. Really pretty. 18 karat. Okay, that's that one. Here is just a little imitation. Uh, someone told me it was from QVC, but it to me it looked very vintage, and we got a little bit more information. I got this at an MSP auction as well. Uh, I got a really lovely lot from one of the sellers. She had purses, and she had all kinds of beautiful things that she sold that day. So that was fun. Here is, somebody told me this was a Carolyn Pollock. I just got this. This is sterling silver with copper, and I don't know what that tiny little orange stone is, but it's very pretty. A true cigar band style. I really like that a lot. Picked it up at the Goodwill for about $10. And here is an amethyst that I got at the Goodwill this year for about $10. You see how I needed an update, guys? A lot of these were bought this year. <laughs> and I, have, I think I did, I think I've done two ring collections or jewelry collection videos this one oh my goodness was this from yeah this is from elizabeth's showcase sale which is on sundays so be sure and tune in tomorrow at around 3 30 central time and uh these are real coral but it is in gold filled i really like this it's kind of a layering piece with other rings it's so pretty and I bought this in a lot from her. I think she had a whole like three or four rings that she sold for, I don't know, $30 or so, maybe less. She's got great prices, guys. So be sure and check out her showcase that she does every Sunday. And then here's one that's really nice. It's supposed to be like tortoise shell, but it's not. I think it's just an imitation, but it is sterling. And it's very pretty. It's a heart-shaped ring. Look at that. And then it's even got the sterling accent across the front there. Really like that. Is this stream still okay, guys? Yeah, I love that uh, Carolyn Pollock. That's really pretty. You know, I have found some really amazing jewelry at the Goodwill in the counter as well. And I'm getting to the point at some of the places where I'm checking the counters first. If the Because like I said, I left three jewelry jars yesterday, jewelry bags, because they were $65 yesterday or the day before. $65 and I was like no no way and I mean I didn't even see a lot of metal or I saw a lot of broken watches so I was you know right away like no that's just too much to gamble on even with my discount still 50 something dollars so anyway this is a beautiful Swarovski crystal set in sterling silver my I told the story about this one too but in case you're new uh, my sister and I were sitting at church and she was wearing it and she does love her rings too and I said oh my gosh I love that ring and she said, oh, you can have it. She took it off and she gave it to me. I love it. It's such a pretty cut, too. It's a pretty pink, super sparkly. I kind of feel self-conscious when I wear this in the daytime, but it doesn't really stop me. <laughs> it's super sparkly. It's really cute. Copper ring out of a jewelry jar, I believe. Oh, no, no, this was bought. This was bought either on Etsy or eBay because I'm always hunting for bypass rings. Because uh, because of the fact that I wear them therapeutically, so to speak, and I have to squeeze them in and out of my hands, they I sometimes wear the metal down. I'm scared of doing that with my pretty silver one, but uh, a few of them have collapsed. And then my mother and I share the same, oh, what do you call it, philosophy, philosophy about copper. So she's busted hers out too. Here's a beautiful amethyst and diamond, 18 karat gold, white gold, that I got at a pawn shop as well. Really pretty deep purple. Really nice. I love the hue of white gold. It's not the same as sterling at all. Sterling really has more of a white color compared to the to the white gold. This is sterling. Isn't that beautiful? This was actually smashed on my hands one year. I used to work at a bank and we were closing the huge glass doors and the door slammed on my hand. 
and it squished it. And a jeweler had to cut it off of me and then fix it. And luckily, we had a jeweler upstairs who so worked in a big building. Here's a beautiful sterling ring that Sandy sent me as a gift with purchase from her one of her auctions. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got a big CZ or something there, but it's just so cute. And it only fits me on my pinky. She's like, this will only fit Thelma. <laughs> so she sent it to me. Here's my wedding band. I love my wedding band. Remember I was telling you I had the little diamonds halfway, the pave halfway across or almost halfway. So it almost looks like an eternity band when you wear it. But it's really strange. I cannot wear both this and the engagement ring at the same time. I'll get like a rash. I don't know why. It just gets moist and whatnot. And so I have to wear them separately. It's so crazy. Here's a really pretty tiny little amethyst with little diamond chips that one of my comadres gave me. And that's basically like the people that you baptize their kids. You're their god godparents. In Spanish, we call them comadres. And she gave me that. They used to wear these in stacks, guys. They had them like in rubies and um, emeralds and then the sapphires. And they look really pretty. I really like it. I like tiny rings, too. They have their place. And then this one, gosh, where did I get this? I think this is from, look, I didn't even know it had a hallmark right there. Did I get this from you, Elizabeth, or from Sandy? I know it was either one of y'all. I just can't remember which. It's so, what does it say? Pen, para, Pentagon, Panagonda. I don't know. It says something. And I believe it is stainless and sterling. I think the middle is sterling and the sides are stainless. And it looks dangerous, doesn't it? But I thought it was super pretty. We're almost done, guys. We're down to about six, I think. No, maybe a little bit more. Okay, it's a 10 karat gold that my mother got me one Christmas. That was my maiden name, my initial before I got married. I love this ring, too. I love signet rings. And then here's another beauty that I got from Jude at Jude Direct. And this is the one that, that's a spinner type. So you can have the two masks. Tragedy comedy. I love it. It's so pretty. So different. I just love that one. And then here's one I just got. And they told me this was a lab created Alexandrite. And I, I don't know. Maybe when I used to buy Alex Alexandrite, especially in Mexico, we used to buy them every time we would go to visit, you know, as tourists or whatever. And my dad would always take us to the to the stores, to the jewelry stores to buy some. And I remember having one, but it would literally turn from baby blue to bloody red. Baby blue in the morning. And then if you stepped out at night and with the little lights from the traffic or something, the ring would turn red. And this one hasn't turned baby blue on me yet. Maybe because it's been cloudy, but I don't know. And it is st set in sterling and it is very small. It barely fits me today, but it does. But it's just so pretty. I love the huge setting on it. And she said it was a lab created Alexandra. I'm not sure. When I find out, I'll let you know. Because it's yet to turn baby blue on me. But it does have all that different variation in color in there. I wrote, This is a new purchase as well. And then here's the ring I got from Sandy that she made with the blue ribbon turquoise. I did add some patina to it with the egg method that uh, Princess Casserole there in the chat, guys. Be sure and subscribe to her as well. Scroll over by her name, hit those two, three dots that are there, and go to her channel to subscribe. She's got great teaching videos, and she showed us how to add patina to jewelry with boiling two eggs, smashing them up, and so forth. And that's what I did with this one. I really thought it would bring out the detail on the on the setting, and um, yes, yeah, so I got that this year as well, sterling silver. Here's another copper number that I just picked up. I really liked it, polished off the silver, made it coppery. I don't know what, color, what kind of stones are in there, probably just rhinestones, but I just really liked it. So I'll put that over there with the imitation stuff. Here is what someone says is a fire opal. I got this at a thrift store for about $20, about 10 years ago. I have, I've actually gotten it sized twice because it's so top heavy and it still spins on me that it constantly spins. But I really, really like this. My niece loved this ring. It is so pretty. I don't know if it's truly a fire opal or glass or what, but it is set in sterling. It is really beautiful. Thrift store find. 
very cheap, very cheaply bought, but very pretty. And here's another pretty one from Vanessa. I love the setting on this. Very nice. And what is this? Oh, this is just like a little eternity band that popped out of the jar. See how I'm going to have to put, I just been putting everything in the, in my cabinets and then uh, it, they're not organized. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're down to the last two. This one's emerald and diamonds, pawn shop by 14 carat. Very, very thin band, but I really like it. I think it's so pretty and I have tested the diamonds. I, I couldn't believe they were actually real because I only bought it for like $35, $40. But it's really pretty. And I have looked deep into those emeralds, and they do definitely look genuine. They have all the beautiful flaws we come to expect from genuine gems. And here is a baguette encrusted horseshoe diamonds as well. Pawn shop find as well. I don't remember how much I paid for it, actually. It's been a while. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Wait, wait, wait. wait one more. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is the last one. Okay, again, the days of working for nothing but Chick-fil-A and jewelry. I got this one at a place called the Goldsmith. It is 14 karat gold and onyx. I adore this ring. My Pakistani boss used to tell me every day, that's the best ring you wear. He really loved this ring. Hammered. Really pretty 14 karat. And they used to make jewelry right there on the premises. I don't know if they still exist, but they were called the Goldsmith. And I think they had about two stores in Corpus, and I don't know if they ever had any more around Texas. Thanks, guys, so much for sticking with me. 70 people still stuck around. I so appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll talk to you later on this week. Thanks again. Bye-bye.